Welcome to Fixing with Passion on this beautiful sunny day. And in this video, well, we will continue to work on this 2006 GMC Envoy. Done a lot to it, and you'll probably see my playlist, what I've done so far to it. And today what we're going to do, or I am going to do, we're going to replace the alternator and the water pump. The water pump, I don't know if you can probably see this, but I noticed when I first bought the day, but I was just kind of going over it. In the old days, you would be able to grab your fan, and you would do this, and see that pulley moving there? Probably not, but let me do it again, see that? Probably hear it. Well, those bearings are wore out in that water pump. We're going to replace that. In order to do that, we've got to take the belt off, so we've got to take the belt off. We might as well just replace the alternator and the water pump at the same time. i got a brand new water pump for this, and i got a, another alternator. This one works, but at night, you can see the, uh, the spikes and the uh, lights, the voltage uh, is jumping around, and... Uh, to make a little noise too so probably got a couple hundred thousand miles on it so we're going to take all this off and let me show you what we have bought and there it is i bought this alternator for about 45 dollars free shipping on ebay it even came with a plug i don't i don't really need and here is the brand new water pump i'll tell you for 4.2 this is a small water pump i think i paid about 25 bucks for this an aftermarket one so we gotta get the pulley off we got to get the uh uh, bolts out and all that and pop this off. So there's only two four five bolts to hold this on And that's everything we need and we got a little gasket for it and all that so the alternator the water pump once we get that on there uh, The engine's going to be in really good shape. I've been driving it and it seems to be okay So I just want to get this done before it gets too hot and yeah There are a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do this stuff But I might as well throw my two cents in and maybe you'll see something I do that you'll like and might help you out But for now we got the antifreeze here kind of draining out and of course on these radiators there's no uh, pet cock or anything so what i typically do i get the camera kind of set up but i'll just unloosen the hose clamp slowly pull it apart and let the water the antifreeze or whatever kind of drip into the pail that's really all you can do there for that and once that's done you know draining or whatever you can start working up here so the first thing i've got to do is go ahead and these here you gotta have a special tool but what i typically use i use a big old thumb wrench and i'll take my propane torch and i'll heat this up a couple of times let it cool down heat it up a little bit but you want to get it too hot because you got your viscous fan there clutch fan and that will typically break this loose a little bit so let me show you uh, what i've got to do that with and here are the basic tools i'm going to use to try to get this clutch fan off so i'm uh, out in the woods <laughs> far from a parts store and uh, being cheap tools that you can get we've got a thumb wrench here this is a pretty big one actually if you notice it's kind of bent a little bit i bent it on a couple of projects to kind of get that in there got the hammer got a little pry bar and of course got the map gas here because propane's annoying if you don't have one of these triggers you can just click this and light it and hold it down there so i want to heat this up right here on this and see if we can break this loose now if i remember right, i think it's left you take it off counterclockwise and clockwise you tighten it up but um what i typically do i'll heat that up let it cool down a couple times and i'll stick my thumb wrench on her like this usually stays in there pretty good then i'll take another you're not supposed to do this but since the water pump's bad who cares i'll pry it back in here in the back put a little pressure on the back of that pulley and I'll take my other hand, grab a hammer, and tap that, hit it until it breaks loose. And once it breaks loose, we can spin it off. Then we have to figure out if we can get the fan out over the shroud, or take the shroud and the fan up together. I'm hoping we can bring it up together, but the problem with that is, you see this here? Yeah, it's going to be in the way to the shroud, so I'm still going to have to take this hose here off. Once we get this off, then maybe we can get this shroud out. Pull it up as one unit. I don't know. I've done it different ways on different vehicles. There's really no clear um, step in how to do this. You just got to play around with it and figure out what works for you. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this off down here. That's the major first hurdle. Once you get this off and everything else, not really all that bad after this. I know some of you are cringing right now, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Just short little burst, nothing crazy, and just do this for a few minutes all the way around, and we'll try to break it loose. All right, well, let's see if I am proved wrong. Um, it's pretty warm. It's cooled off a little bit. So we get this on here like this, 
Now I left the belt and stuff on here because that'll give us a little more leverage. It'll keep things from turning. And we'll put this back here like this. And uh, it may take several tries, I don't know. But I got a little pressure on that right there. Let's see if we can. I may have to use both hands on that. But uh, it'll probably get better than that. Any good luck lock on that there is what's kind of hard to do, so I'm gonna have to use my elbow right this way, fight with it a little bit. I don't know. Let's try that, see what happens. All right, no dice yet. All right, guys, after about 15 minutes. Finally got it. By the way, this is an inch and I believe an eighth. That's how big that nut is. And I don't have that special tool you can buy for a hundred bucks. But, hey, there it is. So I took the tire iron, kind of got it in between a couple of these nuts and let it rest. And caught it and let it rest right here on the upper uh, radiator support here. And kind of took my elbow and held that and did the, took my other hand and kept tapping on it. And there it is. So. You don't have to do it this way, but if you want to try it. But the heat really makes a big difference. It's still hot. I can see it smoking a little bit. So, if you get it so far, it'll start turning on its own. There we go. There we go. Yay. So we'll let that cool down. Now I gotta go ahead and take this hose off. Take a couple of bolts out of the top of the radiator shroud right right here and over there let's we'll see how we can get this out of here all right so after about 25 30 minutes uh i've done a couple of things here i've taken this uh cross member of her off well not cross member this uh brace piece and it gave me a little more room here but it's still tight and the problem with this fan is this right here there's a piece that goes in here and it rubs up here so uh i just can't get enough clearance to get either one of these off so what i realize if i take these four bolts off right here on the back of this fan if these bolts are out, this piece will come forward that has that piece that actually gets hung up here. If I can push this all the way back, then I think we can just probably take it out like that. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to take these uh, bolts out here. I believe these are 13 millimeter. And uh, that should free us up here. And of course, you know, you got your transmission lines right there on that bracket that you got to pop off. So, I mean, it's, it's loose, but it's not loose like I want it to be. I don't want it to get into a bind. So... I'm going to try that. I don't remember how I did it on some of the other trailblazers. Some of the other trailblazers, it came out easy. Some are really just a pain, and this is one of them. So let me take these four bolts out and see what happens. All right, so that seems to work a lot better once you take that off. You know, then you can unscrew your clutch fan and pull it all off. Remember, you got to unhook the wire here and let it just kind of hang down. I think you can see it if I pull it up here, right there. Now we can just pull this unit out as one piece and kind of watch them here I guess so, like that one big piece so maybe that's how I did it earlier back in earlier days I have to go back through some of my videos and see but this is okay so we're good there and now we can change out things we wanted to so there's a water pump Alternator makes it a little bit easier. So um, yeah, just unbolt this from the back of the clutch fan Separate it. You'd think they would have made this a two-piece deal You know like most manufacturers have where you take the top of this off and you can just slide everything out But no, we wouldn't want to do that. But anyway It's out. So Just disassemble your fan And bring it out. You might even not even probably won't even have to do anything here So that was just uh, 10 minutes worth of work that I kind of wasted all right, so let's get this built off and start getting this water pump off. All right, let's get all the bolts out here. Go ahead and get a nice photo of the belts and all that, because trust me, if you think you can remember everything, you will not. So, so we got a photo of that. Now we'll go ahead and take this apart. All right, so we're down to the nitty gritty. Check this out. It's bad. But uh, I did unhook the battery, so let's knock this off. Got it! After some persuading, yeah! <laughs> a little... 
tire iron help there. So that was kind of hard to get off. All right, so check this out. Get a little closer. Hey, supposed to be making any noise. Bad shape, so uh, did unhook the battery. I think I mentioned that earlier. So we're going to get the alternator off. A couple of bolts on the bottom here are kind of pain to get to, but you can just use a ratcheting socket and get those off. Take this off, these two bolts here off on top. Pull this out a little bit and get to those wires in the back. Reassemble it, put it back in like that. So for now, we're going to and take the water pump off. And boy, it's a little, it's not very big, so it shouldn't be too hard to take off. Love these tools. $40. All right, so let's go ahead and tap this off here. I need to grab my hammer real quick. Once we tap that off there, it should come right off. And you'll lose a little more antifreeze. And ta-da! And to show you how bad it is, it's, it's pretty bad. So, I'm glad I'm changing it out, so just for good measure. I suppose to make any noise. Hear that? I don't think it's supposed to do that. All right, we're making progress slowly here. Got the battery unhooked, and we'll pull this out a little bit. This will give me access into these wires in the back. There's a plug right here. Pop that off. Get that out of the way. And we've got one more little nut here we have to take off. One hook that there real quick. All right, that's actually a 13. That's a 10. 10 millimeter, a little nut. Get that off there, and uh, get this alternator out of the way. Yeah, we'll use it for an emergency backup one or something, but uh, you can get these anywhere from $50 to $100 well, on eBay if you look. Free shipping, so. All right, let's get this off of here. There's that. Now, this bottom nut here, this bolt, there's an air conditioning line that goes really close to it, so you got to unscrew it and just kind of leave it in there and just take it out. And when you put your other alternator in, put the bolt in and then work it in like that. And the two on the top are okay, but... Uh, yeah, it's making a little noise, but anyway, we got us a, a newer one with less miles and it should work just as good. So let's put all this together. All right, folks, we got us an alternator and a brand new water pump. How about that? And a new gasket. So, uh, it wasn't too bad to install. Hey, let me know where you're watching from right now. All right, so we got the belts on. Well, the belt. Everything checked out. So now all we gotta do is put everything in together, the fan, the clutch assembly and all that. And uh, the thing I'm squeamish about is all these trailblazers and envoys, they, these lines rust. If you bend them too much, they'll break. And I've got a lot of rust on mine, so I gotta be very careful. After I put all this back together, I'm gonna start it up and make sure none of these are leaking first before we even attempt to drive it. But yeah, these are a little sketchy, but uh, we may have to replace these later. But now at least I know how to get the radiator out. I mean, uh, not the radio, the uh, fan and stuff out a little bit easier. But anyway, I'll go ahead and finish up here, put all this in, and pretty much wrap this video up. Not a lot of content here. It might get 30 or 40 views, but hey, maybe it'll help you out a little bit and uh, give you some uh, some persuasion to get yours finished or done or whatever. All right, to give you some idea how I'm going to put this back together, it's kind of set up like that. I'll put the fan on this side with one hand. And uh, kind of put this piece in the back like that. I think you can kind of see how it's set up like that. And the fan has got to go on this side, just so you know. And your piece that screws onto the water pump is on the back. And now we're just going to kind of drop this whole thing down in. And you're going to have your transmissions lines over there. They're probably going to catch. You're going to probably have to wiggle it. Then you're going to have to fight with this hose right there. It's going to hit right here on the top. So. You're going to have to use both hands, and that's exactly what I'm going to have to do. So, let me set the camera up here and see if we can get it in there. All right, so here goes. I'll keep the uh, bad words at a minimum and to myself. So, pop this down in like that. And uh, I'll try to set that clutch fan on the center of the water pump. I'll turn it a little bit and screw it on there. That way it won't be rattling around too much. All right, I think we got it already turning. All right, there we go. I'll grab the camera here, give you guys a look here. But can you see right there? I'm turning that fan on. And I think we're good. 
and just make sure you put this fan on the right way, you know, when you tack it off. Now we got to just push down on this right here, get it, get it kind of caught up here and wiggle it around a little bit. So let me go ahead and do that off camera. But that's how basically you can pull it, in, put it in there, pull it out, and put it three, two, one. And that's basically the way you can pull it out and put it all back together as one kind of unit. It makes it a little bit less, uh, I guess, painful. So let me go ahead and get this in there. All right. It's amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it, but it's all done, all back together. That wasn't too bad to get back down in the uh, clips there. But I don't think I broke anything, so all I gotta do is hook this water hose up, the uh, top radiator hose. Everything's tight, nothing's binding. I can spin this, and this is all back together. So I think it worked out pretty well. So, you know, this is how I do it. You might do it differently, but maybe this will help you out. Getting this fan in and out of here without cussing too much. <laughs> Also, you might want to wear some long sleeve shirts because, you know, there's some sharp plastic there. You can get some cuts. I got a couple of nicks and, you know, wear gloves and take your time at it and all that. And I got to just tighten this down just a little bit more here on the nut. Actually, I'll probably just turn it like this. There you go. All right. I'll snug it. It'll tighten up on its own. So, all right, let me just finish up. All right, we're just about ready to start it up. Uh, a couple of things. Just make sure you have all your plugs back in, you know, if you unhook that. Make sure your fan clutch wire is hooked up and also let's see there was something else here you got a sensor make sure you don't hit that that's your cam shaft sensor then you got your bbt don't have to worry too much about that and on this uh, shroud on the bottom there's a piece of uh, like flexible plastic down on the side it'll catch you can kind of knock it off it stays down in there so when you put this shroud back down there you kind of gotta push it back over the holes there's one over here i don't think you're gonna be able to see it well, let me see if I can zoom the camera in a little bit there. You might be able to see it right there, kind of off to the side. That little piece right there directs air into the radiator, so you can see the little nipples there. If you slide that through that hole, that'll catch that. And that'll keep the engine a little bit cooler, getting more air into the radiator. Other than that, uh, you may get bound up on those, and if you do, we're trying to get this out, take a screwdriver and kind of pop that off the side of the shroud. And they, they stay down in there. I just left them down in there, so... Other than that, we're going to put some antifreeze in it and we'll start her up. And just like that, it's all back together, ready to be started. And uh, I've got a couple of things here kind of loose. I need to, uh, if this alternator works out okay, then I'll finish this bracket a little bit later. This is a small bracket, so we'll go ahead and start it up. Now, since I've had the battery unhooked, all my old codes, which only had one for the VVT sensor, I think I need to replace it. That's the only code I had, so let's see how she starts. Okay, start right up. Sounds good. See how the idle is for the first 20 seconds here. Sometimes I get a slight miss, but seems like it's okay now. Not any of the stuff I did really, really would have helped that, but no. Idle's up like it should. All right. So what I'll do is drive it for a few days and I'll come back and give you guys an update on the video when I wrap this video up, but sounds good. Good news is I don't see any leaks where that transmission line was rusted. Looks okay. Other than that, I guess we're charging. Let's just check it and see real quick. Lights on. High beams. Wipers. Yeah, apparently battery's charging. Let's see what the radio, maybe the radio. Check this real quick. Yep, seems okay. So uh, we'll call this job a successful job for now. And uh, take it down the road and I'll see you guys back here in a couple of days let you know how it worked out all right guys so far so good no problems with the old envoy she's running really good no leaks updaters charging just fine a really good sounding engine so i'm happy with the uh, outcome 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will go ahead and replace this plastic shroud because there is a cut there that you saw earlier in the video that I kind of saw, so I'll replace that a little bit later. Other than that, this will be my mainly uh, be my main daily driver. So until my next video, guys, I will see you later.